wouldn't you say, uh, Bob, that, for example, being uh, creative in, in that decision making might be the opposite uh, or, or a bit uh, contraproducent for, for risk management in the sense that, okay, I'm going to be more creative, I'm going to maybe take some more risks, and that's maybe the, oppos the opposite of, of risk management. How do you see that, that balance in there? Yeah, no, I think, um, I think they're complementary. I think the, you, you need to take calculated risk. You know, risk and reward, it's a, it's a fundamental in, in business. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, uh, it's an important uh, concept that you really need to nurture. Um, I think the, the perception of the CFO is changing and, and needs to change when it comes to, you know, like you said, taking some risks, not just saying no to everything. You yeah. know, that's always the easy, that's the, that's the easy answer. But the way I balance those two, I think the CFO needs to accept and adopt a, a testing, a testing mentality where, mm -hmm. no, you don't, you know, you, you don't go out there and, and, and take huge, you know, unknown risks. So there's ways to, to break things down um, more of a, in a laboratory experimental testing um, a testing mm -hmm. discipline, I think, is, is the key to, to evaluate whether it's new products or new markets, uh, new lead yeah. generation, whatever those, the, the, you know, whatever that risk may be. And sometimes those are big risks that, you know, legacy thinking is, is very hesitant to challenge. But I think if you can come at it from a testing point of view, limiting your risk with good, with good data to, to prove the results is, is really the key. Mm-hmm.